My name is Sebastian Cover. Um, I'm in my third year at Art and Art History at UTM in Sheridan. And um, what I would like to do after school, I don't know. What I tried to do yesterday was make one of the largest drawings I've ever done. Um, the largest drawing I've ever done. Um, the reason for making that at that scale was I want to create an environment in which I would work. I wanted to make drawing more of a physical action and explore relearning how to draw by developing my own tools and media by which I worked. The guidelines were do an independent drawing project, do whatever you want. The reason I decided to do this project now was because it was appropriate to go for it. I did a drawing before this one earlier on, like a few months ago, it was, um, or like one month ago. It was 25 by 6 feet. And when I was on the one end of the 25 foot drawing, I couldn't see 25 feet away, like the proportions different. Not that I don't have the eyes to do it, but it's, I kind of explained this once where like, I, th I think of it as if you're drawing it with a pen and you have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of standard printer paper and you're just looking at the tip of the pen while you draw and you're trying to draw a picture that's the size of the entire piece of paper, you have no idea what you're doing. It's really hard to gauge proportion and you're in it. Preparation process was me going up to my prof and going, hey, I want to do a really big drawing. <coughs> How big? Uh, 50 by 50 feet? He goes, that's a really, really big. And, you know, that's not a size that most people can think at. Uh, you know, if I tell you my height, I'm 6'3", people just go, oh, 6'3", I know how big that is. Um, you know, or you know how big a penny is, things like that. But 50 feet is not a s size that people know how big it is. Um, you look at something and you either weigh underestimate it or weigh overestimate it. A lot of people I talked to really underestimated it and thought, no, eh, it's not that big. But a lot of people I talked to overestimated and said, that's incredibly huge. That's impossible to do, right? And it's not that big. Like, it's, you know, it's doable easily. Preparation process was, where am I going to get the material to do it at this scale? I called a couple of billboard companies. Even end rolls and misprints would have, like, garbage, essentially, would have... I thought I'd be doing them a favor by taking their garbage, but it would have cost me in the hundreds to thousands of dollars. Um, I was looking at canvas also to use this. Um, canvas I would have had to stitch together. Um, canvas would have cost me $500 for 350 feet of canvas. And then the rest of the preparatory work, I bought what I could afford. When I first finished the drawing, I looked at it and I go to my friend, I go, I have a 65 by 20 foot drawing. How many people have that? You know, like I own it. It's it's a fun thing to have, right? And he's like, I'll buy it off you for 20 bucks. And I was like, no. <clears throat> Although it might have been a good deal. You never know. It might be like more than I'd ever sell it for otherwise. Because, <laughs> you know, 20 bucks is a lot of money. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to keep it, you know. It's always, uh, I don't hoard it. Um, what I'm going to do is display it where I can. It's huge, and I'm not going to get very many opportunities to display a work this big, but um, I'm pending a couple of buildings that I'm trying to hang it off the side of. Whether I'm allowed to or not, I might just go for it. But I have it, and I'm going to keep it. And then look at it whenever I can, you know? It's like going back to look at old sketchbooks. You know? And you, now I'm going to open it up in probably like in a few months. Every couple of months I'll open it up probably, look at it, or maybe more frequently and I'll just be embarrassed by how bad it is or how little I like it and just what a waste of time I thought it was and that's kind of how you go about work because you know you always like develop. When I look at stuff from high school like I, I like looking at it because it's funny. I don't think it's good. And that's good because it means I'm getting better I think. Unless I was always terrible because I'll look at the stuff I'm doing right now and you know, think it's really bad. Which is cool. I'm cool with it as long as I make stuff that's even better later on. I, I went to an artist lecture with Gary Panter and I got to ask him a question which was nice. He's the guy who did the set design for Pee Wee's Playhouse. I got to ask him 
because I was worried about it and I was wondering about it. What's the difference between art and entertainment? And, you know, that question upsets me even, you know, and it's weird because there is a difference, but I don't know what it is. And, uh, like, it it's frustrating because, you know, to do something so big and so showy, it's it's entertainment, you know, and and does that make it not art anymore?